Why Hindus should never eat halal meat? In India, the prevalence of halal meat has surged with many individuals consuming it without considering the spiritual implications. However, according to our ancient scriptures, the act may constitute as a grave transgression. The Vedas indeed discusses the consumption of meat and certain texts like Puranas and Manismriti delve into the subjects. Yet, there is a significant aspect that has been overlooked the necessity of offering the animal before the goddess Kali before its slaughter. This practice known as Jatka mandates a swift and humane killing ensuring the animal experiences minimal suffering. While the Vedic traditions acknowledges that the consumption of meat is not ideal, it provides guidelines for those who choose to do so. The stipulation requires the use of specific slaughter methods that minimalizes animal distress. Contrastingly, halal slaughter involves allowing the animals to bleed out slowly, which is categorized as himsa or violence, which is opposed by the Vedas. The scriptures explicitly forbid any form of cruelty towards animals, including inflicting pain or causing their untimely demise. I must clarify that my intention is not to vilify the halal method, but to caution devote Hindus against committing any grave sin. Opting for halal meat entails participating in a form of slaughter that contradicts our sacred teachings, potentially leading to spiritual consequences. While acknowledging the consumption of meat itself carries a moral implications, it's essential to recognize the severity of engaging in a slow or violent methods of slaughter. The Garuda Purana warns against such actions, emphasizing the importance of abstaining from practices that inflict unnecessary suffering. Therefore, I urge all the Hindus to abstain from halal meat and instead consider opting for jatka meat if they choose to consume animal products. By doing so, we honor our religious principles while also advocating compassion towards all living beings. Swasti. So